Do you believe you're an average woman? I do not. Because. Excuse me? Why? Why don't you believe you're an average woman? Well, I don't believe in selling myself. So I'm not going to. I don't have a. Um, I'm not a woman that feels like I have to prove my value to anybody. So it's like you, you don't. Have, it was, you're it was right. just a question. Yeah. To it me, just it's, question. it's just like to me, it's just like I don't believe I'm. I don't believe I'm an average woman just because I'm me. And I don't believe any person would, would you say you're an average man. I Are you asking me that question? Yeah, yeah. I think I'm, I'm an average guy. Okay, well, that's do. good. I think as, I think it's a healthy habit to think highly of yourself. So with me, so a dude that makes twenty thousand a year is he average? Think, hold on, no. wait, 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 wait. wait. Do, you, do you think he's average? No. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do you think? It's All right, let's. Uh, it's a long video, so <laughs> it's a long video. So um, I, I definitely want to dissect this a little bit. Okay. In life. Everyone should be aware that context matters. Okay? Is context plural or singular? I'm not sure. Context matters. Context matter? Context matters? Which one is it? Is context plural or singular? Somebody help me. Let's just say context matters for now. Okay? Context is everything. You can't really speak to a topic unless you, understand, unless you have context. Right? It's a terrible behavior that I've seen amongst uh, especially men having conversation on the internet is there's zero respect for context there's absolute disconnect from context like we're just going to talk in general and not really think a little bit deeper even if you can come up with an example at least have some respect that it depends it depends is the one thing we hate to we hate as an answer, but it's true <laughs> in every, in literally every respect, especially if you're going to talk about romantic relationships. Context matters. So if you say she's average, what do you mean average with respect to what? What do you mean exactly by average? Average with respect to the marketplace. What, what are the parameters, right? What marketplace? You can't say marketplace without saying, hey, I'm talking about Newark, New Jersey. I'm talking about Philadelphia. I'm talking about Lagos, Nigeria. What market are we talking about? Oh, just black people in general. Oh, all Hispanic people. America. Like, you need to be able to pinpoint that before you can use the word average. Okay. Give us something. Maybe I'm copying a little bit. Maybe oh, nobody's going to come up with all that. Okay, right. But still, if somebody is telling you like, hey, I don't feel like an average, they're clearly telling you in the context of how I think, in the context of my mindset, I'm not average. What do you mean average? I'm freaking above average in every sense. It depends on what you value too, right? You can't talk about marketplace without talking about value. What is it that this person values, right? I'm sorry to break the news to you. Sometimes it's not marriage. They don't value marriage. If they don't value marriage, you can't force value down people's throats. It's a listen, unless you're making money on YouTube channels saying that. Don't waste your energy. Value is value for a reason. Because the person, the eyes of the beholder, the person that's observing it, sees value in it. You don't, you're not seeing it for them. So you can't average with respect to what? But hey, let's keep listening. Let's see if this conversation, because I could be wrong. This conversation could be in the direct, could go in the direction that, hey, I'm actually agreeing with them. But already, I disagree with the idea of having having conversation where you're selling value to people that clearly don't value whatever the heck you're talking about, which is usually generalized. It's detrimental, detrimental to overinflate your view of yourself. No. Because if you open, really, so yeah, if I believe because, that I'm just listen, Superman, if I'm walking around like I'm Superman, that's not gonna yeah, but here's do anything to me psychologically. Did you see that analogy? Oh, terrible, Lord, Superman, oh, Lord. All right, let, let me not jump the gun too fast. How did the Superman conversation come into this? Why? Because I could just believe I'm Superman, and if I try to fly, I'm just gonna drop out of the skies anyway, right? Dude, do you know how quick that is that you're going to drop out of the sky? You could try to jump off the building right now. Let's see how that works, right? See how terrible that analogy is to when a person says, I am not average in terms of romantic relationships. 
right? Just if I was to assume right now, off the bat, if I was to assume, just look at this young lady. She's not average. She's not average looking chick exactly. I know people that are challenged, look wise, much more than her. So I don't see that she's completely off when she says average. But again, what the hell are they talking about? What are they talking about exactly? You know, let's see. So, so with me, so a dude to make twenty thousand a year, is he average? Oh no, no, wait, 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 wait. Do you do you think? It's, average, no. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Do you think it's detrimental, detrimental to overinflate your view of yourself? No, because. To, do you think it's detrimental to overinflate your view of yourself? Let's see what the answer is. Shout out to you, Red Lipstick. She says, I saw this. It was bad. Okay, let's let's keep going. The first two minutes or so is what I saw. So I'm not sure how bad it's going to be. But if I was to predict right now, it's going to be very bad. But let's keep going. Because if you open, really? So yeah, if I believe because, that I'm just listen, Superman and listen. I'm walking around like I'm Superman, that's not going to yeah, but here's do anything to me psychologically because that's not the real world. Yeah, right? but, yeah but it depends on what you're... If someone believes okay, she how she just said it depends. Why do we hate that? That's actually the reality of life for those of us that like to face reality. The reality is that a lot of things depends on context, <laughs> right? And sometimes you have to let people fall flat on their face. So let's say, for example, you come to me and say, I'm a superman, or you act like you're superman. Well, soon enough, you're gonna fall flat on your face if you try to fly, right? Is that what they do, superman? They fly, right? I'm not sure. I don't know but you know what i'm saying whatever it is that supermen do you try to do that well you're gonna fall flat on your face uh, you know you probably i don't have, you probably will learn very quick enough right it's not the same thing romantic relationships sometimes like one thing we know about romantic relationships it goes ups and downs ups and downs ultimately we're hoping it goes all the way up but just like in the marketplace the, the best pragmatic example is like the stock market right it goes ups and downs, two ups and downs. Over a period of one year, you can see if it's ultimately going up or maybe five years, right? Why? Because it's literally measuring people's emotions, fear and greed. And you can see the ups and downs, ups and downs. Eventually, it shows a, a trend, right? You can't, comp we can't say, hey, you, some guy is making a market move and you're like, oh, don't make that move. Why? Because I could see that, you know, you're on the lows. It's carving all the way down, like, and it's like, dude, how do you know that? You just looked at the chart in the last two days. How would you know what kind of game I'm playing or what kind of move I'm playing right now? You couldn't know. That's how stupid it is when you say Superman and somebody's saying, I don't see myself as average. That's how dumb it is. Not that you are. The idea, that analogy is a terrible analogy. It doesn't make any sense. Because they see what they see, and you clearly see short-sighted. You're short-sighted. You can't see as far. Could they be short-sighted? Yes. But you don't know that because you're actually the ultimate. We can see that you're short-sighted because you don't know this person. You're asking them a very generalized question, and somehow you're saying it's detrimental for them to, to see themselves as not average. That's why these conversations are terrible all over the place. There's no real-life examples. And there's no nuances, which are the real things that people will go through. In a marriage, in a long-term relationship, there's going to be downtime that people on the outside will look at and will be like, oh, yeah, they didn't vet very well. They did a terrible job of vetting. That's dumb. <laughs> okay? That's just dumb. There's going to be moments like that inevitably. Right? You're seeing, you're short-sighted believes that your value you're overinflating is based upon what they view you as right so i'm not going to hold myself subject to anyone else's standards or what else they, or what they think my value is when i determine my own value wouldn't that be a narcissist Listen, no it's not because why would you why would you let somebody else tell you, if you think <laughs> how do you go to narcissist all the way if I, I i i don't see myself as average well you have an overinflated view of yourself overinflated based on what over inflate when you say when you say inflation rate when you use the word rate that means you're measuring one thing with respect to another thing there's something at the top something at the bottom there's decimals there's percentages right we can't just look at just a number singular by itself and say narcissistic 
It doesn't make any sense with respect to what? What do you measure? So if you have over over inflated self of self, grandiose, yes, that's the definition on the surface of narcissism. But when it's time to diagnose a person, guess what they have to do? They have to dig in a little deeper, right? They have to measure that on the spectrum. They have to assess that, right? And hopefully they're doing with respect to your race, your culture, because sometimes some things are just different from race and culture. That's why some of you, if you if you are if you're having issues, you're actually better off dealing with somebody who is black. Let's say you're looking for a professional therapist or something, because they, they have proper context. They can comprehend where you're coming from a lot better. They have to still be good, right? With respect to the profession but also with respect to your culture and who you are when you're coming from you can't afford to generalize any of this stuff you will fall flat on your face all the time you will end up in a never-ending conversation and you will hurt other people that are relating with you on a very surface level they'll go back and hurt their relationships you handsome why would somebody tell you Hey, you're ugly, and you accept that as your reality. Because I am an image. I, I'll just say this: I can think that I'm good looking, but if that person says I'm not attractive, that's that's their opinion. Exactly. But hold on, hold on. Matter. That's their. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. No, no. They do this a lot. What do you mean? Hold on, hold on. You just said something that you're literally agreeing with her. You just said that person. That means one person, not a marketplace. One person thinks they get to, but you go and hold on, hold on, hold on. Why? Because he's going to try to manipulate the points. It's still not going to work because, hey, you can avoid reality all you want. You can't avoid the consequence of avoiding reality. Let's keep going. Opinion, but right. it doesn't mean it doesn't matter. And it doesn't mean it is not true. It doesn't mean it's not true. That's their truth. That's their, that's their perspective. So if you've never yeah. seen every, any something that was ugly and you was like, nah, girl, that's ugly. Address anything. That's a perspective. If I see. That is, but in the same thing, it doesn't mean it's not true. Yeah, but that, but that would mean it. That's why the idea of it's true, right or wrong, it's not relevant. This is examples of what I'll be telling you. Like, it's not relevant to this conversation. It, 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 uh, is it true? Right? You know what time it is, right? Is it true? Whatever you think is true, is true. Uh, Allah is being disingenuous. He knows what I'm trying to say. He knows I'm right. Guess what? Even at that. Oh, I, 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 you're right. It's Lord. true with other people who share my same perspective. And, and it might be possible. Because some, yeah, because some people may think it's cute. So it's like, because that's my perspective doesn't mean that it's, it's a genuine truth across all borders. You know what we need to normalize? You need to normalize. Give me an example. Because she's playing the same game with them. So it's, you know, she's generalizing too, but she knows what she's trying to think. But, you know, everybody try to respect each other. I don't want to ask you your personal questions because this is a public platform. Everybody's trying to do that. <laughs> but it keeps us in this never-ending vicious cycle, right? Give me give me a goddamn example. What, what do you mean? Let's normalize that. Right? Let's normalize that. I like panels only to a certain ex to a certain level. It's just too much generalizing generalized talks. And I'll admit my patience level is too low for that, you know. Because I could tell you're speaking from some kind of example is generalized and I need you to tell me. Tell me a little more. Pretend like it's not you. Right? But give me some context. Who are you? Are you married or not married? Oh, of course, that's crossing the line. You can't ask people that question on a public platform because, hey, that doesn't mean, like, like what? Like, I can, I can have an opinion too. Tell me you're not married by not telling me. Just because I said it. That may, when that it, may be the case. And when it comes to someone overinflating their ego, it becomes overinflating their worth. It becomes a problem when it's egotistical. Me, I'm a woman that does not have ego. So it's like with me. I <laughs> How do we know that? We don't know that, but she said what she said. Now it's it's dumb for you to engage her in an argument and know you're egotistical without knowing her, right? But I'll tell you right now, I can read people's character very easily. She's pretty calm the way she's handling this. I base myself into reality. I know that the stuff that I've gone, I, the work that really? I put into myself. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> really? So yeah, when it comes to like ego, to me, I'm no, I'm not the most beautiful woman in the world, but I know I am beautiful. Um. So it's like, to me, I can. So if a young lady comes to you and say, I'm the most beautiful woman in the world. And you're a young man, right? And you have an opinion that's slightly different. 
<laughs> is that your cue to tell her she's not beautiful? I'm guessing in 2022, yes. I'm just going to tell her the truth. The truth is undefeated. You know, <laughs> I'm just going to tell her the truth. Let's just tell her the truth right now so she doesn't, because it's detrimental for her to be walking around like. Stop the cap. <laughs> The only thing that's detrimental is you trying by all means to destroy this person's self-confidence. That is detrimental, not only to her, but to yourself, because there are ways you're going to shoot yourself on the legs. Not with her particularly. This behavior that you think you have the monopoly of truth and you got to tell everyone. I mean, just ask Kanye West. This has nothing to do with race. Just ask Kanye West. Okay? You think you, you can monopolize truth? Based off of your limited perspective in life, you're going to shoot yourself on legs all the time. This whole thing is bigger than you. It's arrogance. That's egotistical. Get anybody I want. So it's like, that's, to me, that's, yeah, that's no, but far, that's that, far fetched. No, because you can. I believe anybody, anybody you want. Yeah, everybody should have that mindset. That's a healthy mindset. You should think highly of yourself. So let me I ask think you. that's being delusional. That, it's, it's, it's not, it's not. So now we ended up calling her delusional without calling her delusional. Oh, you're even too lame to realize you're calling her delusional because hey, we just started, we're just talking. And then anytime somebody takes something personal, you're like all oh, surprised. They took it personal. You're talking to her. You're calling, you're saying something is something she's strongly opinionated about right now. You're saying that is delusional. What if they're weaker than you? Do you think they were just, oh yeah, we're just talking, you know? Oh, by the way, I know people like, that's why I don't defend them either. If you end up in this conversation, it's called Oyo. It's called On Your Own, okay? I will not defend you because I know ladies that you would defend and they will be like, oh, that's what you get for defending her. I don't defend in this kind of conversation wherever you get you're an adult you can handle it okay <laughs> all right but i'm talking here on my platform so i can talk now a little bit it's you call somebody delusional by not calling them delusional they will come for your head don't be surprised anymore when they come for your head okay listen the more you call them masculine the more they're gonna come for your head. Oh, ladies, listen to this. The more you call him feminine because he's having an active argument with you, he'll become even more feminine. Be careful, okay? It's a dangerous game to play. People take things personally. Don't be so surprised when they take it personally. Why? Because everything is personal. I don't know if you realize that yet. It's all personal, okay? It takes a, it takes a very strong personality to not take this kind of conversation personal. Okay? And no, we're not going to change that. That's the nature of human beings. Because some people are like, well, they should be held accountable because they did that. No, no, no. It's the nature of human beings. Okay? Learn how to play the game. Stop trying to change the game. Um, let's see. But I said, I've learned to know that someone's opinion may not be who you are. Yeah. Oftentimes, it's exactly who they are. <laughs> but oftentimes, not all the time. There's exceptions, of course, always. Beauty is in the eyes of the beholder, they say. That's a fact, right? So, again, there's a fine line between somebody thinking they're the most beautiful person in the world. Uh, ladies, particularly, not men. Men are not built that way. I don't know what men will want to compete. What if I say, like, why do you want to compete with that? I don't understand. Are you, you want to become a woman? I don't understand. But anyway, women say, I'm the most beautiful woman in the world. It's not a big deal that she said that. It's not. Why is that got to be a big deal? Okay. Well, it becomes a big deal when the society is deteriorating and there's a bunch of IG models on OnlyFans are like, tell me that you've been hanging around the wrong spot on the internet without telling me. Right. So then, right. so right. let me ask you this. And that's fine. You don't have to agree with my mindset of how I view myself. If you want to think lowly of yourself and think that you can't get everybody that you want, then you can insert that on yourself. That has nothing so to do with it. So let me ask you this. So if you can get what anything that you want or anybody that you want, right? You would be married today. There you go. <laughs> that's if the goal was that. I don't want to be but married But if the right goal now. was in the, in the past. Oh. You would be married today. What is this assumption? Did she say, I want to be married? Now, here's the thing. Here's the kicker. Okay. I do know the fact that a lot of people that want to be married will never admit they want to be married. I get that. Okay? There's a fine line between that and just a healthy mindset that you should be okay with your status in life. Okay? I'm an advocate of you should be okay if you want better. 
you should be okay with your present status in life. If you're a single person, even if you want to be married, you should still appreciate that you're single. And I mean that in every sense, okay? However, if I'm engaged a young man and I go, you know you want to be married. Don't look at like, that's terrible. Like, come on. Yeah, you will have to admit to me first. You have to pay me serious money for me to tell you that you want to be married when you haven't told me you want to be married. You have to have paid me first. I'm not telling you that for free, even if I already sense that you really want to be married. But you're capping, you're capping big time. Like, that's terrible. She did not say she wants to be married. So why is this got to be a point of, you know, well, let's keep going, right? It was? No, it was not. So you didn't want to be married? I've never been a woman that was like, oh, I can't wait to get a ring on my finger. That's never been my mindset. That's so, why I turned it So down. when do you want to be married? I, I don't know. Whenever I feel like it. It's like, if I wanted oh, wow. to be married today, I could be. But when do you like, want to be in a relationship again? When Stop the cap. <laughs> it's not really a rush for me. So it's like, it's not. Stop the cap. <laughs> standards so it's like you don't have to agree with me and you can think that no oh, we're not agreeing with you i mean i, I, I'm, I, I we're know not you're not agreeing with, with me but i feel like it's very offensive when someone says they think highly of themselves and for you to not laugh. But, but in order to say to me, you can get that's, anybody that's, you want yes that's, that's true just like you can have anybody you want no i can't they're, they're never gonna admit that right uh first of all it's true that men can't have whatever they want but it's actually worse when they have that as a mindset okay I've never felt, it's a feeling, I've never felt like I couldn't have a girl that I want. I've never felt it. I can't relate. Somebody's going to be like, oh, that's because you've always gotten the girls you want. I'm like, oh, Lord. Wahala. Wahala. Oh, Lord. All right. This is a lot. I thought I would be past the story by now, but it's not. Hey, D-Love. Good to see you, D-Love. Oh, Lord. Right. I got to be careful with this one. Okay. If you don't want to be married, ladies, you never feel the need to argue with this kind of guys. Ever. Ever. Never. You will never be in this kind of conversations. And there's no point. Like, she has her old earphones on and all that kind of stuff. Like, you think I want to be married? Oh, okay. That's your opinion. That would be the response to that. Okay. But, hey, let me give i I'm dealing with the gentleman asking the questions first. Okay. It doesn't matter if she's telling the truth or lying. I have to believe her. She's not my client. I have to believe what she says. She doesn't want to be married. She's going to continue to attract exactly that situation because she's creating it. That's fine. I'm okay with that. It's a terrible thing for men to be engaged in conversation with women who say this and you're not okay with that. It's just bad. Okay, Because for one... She could be telling the truth. We don't know. We don't know what we don't know. I think she's capping. That's personal opinion. But do I understand the limitations of opinion? That opinions means exactly that. It's not mean truth. Opinions is not the same thing as truth. Okay? It means my version of truth based on my limited perspectives in life so far. That's all it means. And... What's, do you realize, let's talk power for a second. Do you realize that you could tell yourself lies long enough it becomes the truth? Are you aware of that? Are we aware of that? That you could be telling yourself lies long enough it actually becomes the truth. You tell yourself long enough, you start to believe it and it becomes your reality. And it's the truth at that point in time. They truly feel that way because they've been living it long enough. We try to put this human experience in the box of some, that truth is that truth and that's just the way it is. Like, oh, and somehow she's going to suffer. Maybe not. There's a lot of people that actually want to be married, they will admit it and they're still not married. How about that? What are you going to do about that? That has nothing to do with nothing. In fact, my opinions on this show right now at this point in time is basically because we're putting another shit together. My opinions are my opinions, right? They are limited based on my experiences at the end of the day. At the end of the day. I could be wrong. What is wrong with people admitting that they could be wrong sometimes? What what where did that disappear to? I won't I won't you know what? Give me look in your phone right now. Look up fucking Holly Berry's number. I want her. Okay, well shit, go out. That's such a stupid analogy. 
First of all, I know that men in general can't just have any chick they want. But that has never been a problem for us as men. Real men have never seen that as a problem. Okay? Okay? We don't see that as a problem. It's not every chick I chase after or pursue that will say yes to me. That has never been a problem. Okay? I will get more than enough chicks that want to be with me. I'll tell you that much. I'm not going to be paralyzed by the idea that someone can reject me. Oh, by the way, newsflash. No matter how pretty she is, she also gets rejected. Gentlemen, listen to me. She gets rejected because it's not always what she wants that she tends to be attracted to. That's the reality. Oh, but she's getting all these dick pics in her DM all the time. She has options. No, that's terrible, man. Do you do math? She does not... She's not necessarily attracted to everything that slides in her DM with a dick pic. That is a stupid analogy, as always. Like, too often... Hmm. No, 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 no. I want that's her. Me. That's me. Th that doesn't mean I can get her. It How do you know that you can't? Oh, my goodness. What, my, why do you think so that's, lowly that's, of, that's, of yourself to her? You think that that's the point right now. She's reading that as you're thinking so lowly of yourself. Okay? Go look at all the people that Ali Berry has been with. I don't know why that's such a stretch. Right? Now, the only thing you can think of is a celebrity you can't reach her because you're not in the same circles. That's admissible. Okay, but you can't get with Ali Berry. Ali Berry is not all that as far as I'm concerned. Now, if you say Tony Braxton, then we have a point, <laughs> right? <laughs> but you get the gist, right? Like, come on, like, it's, she's right. You're thinking so lowly of yourself. And it, it's not about the Ali Berry. It's about you, you're so dug in this argument. You must make her realize that she's less than how she feels. This obsession that you must make her feel like that she's less than how she feels. It's just bad obsession altogether. And I see that in this conversation all over the internet. Where is this obsession coming from? Yeah. You know what that's, you know what that's more like? That's more like a, a, a rapist mindset. I can have her. I want her. I'm, I'm taking her. No, no. Nobody I, said take her. But even then, I can't have anybody that i want well you can think that of yourself you no with one me, can do that okay with me i feel like it's very who, okay so who's 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 somebody that you would date you said drake earlier you said something I about drake. drake who would you date famous i don't uh, celebrity all right so in this conversation she's, she's on, so she's about to do Stop the cap <laughs> because she's clearly on the defense now right she's going to make sure she destroys every stupid analogy you bring to the table <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that to make her believe what she doesn't believe which is less of herself she's going to destroy it dead on arrival right and hey it's just a conversation on the podcast right it's not a big deal until it becomes a big deal trust me these young men are moving like this and they're getting dragged to the street blue balls all over the place okay uh it's getting worse and worse right it's worse than the 30 percent virgins under the age of 30 years now okay uh, yes, it's worse. It's worse because they don't know how to talk to women. That's the bottom line. You can see it on the panels, but you can see it because these panels are extremely influential and they're taking this back to real life and they're having a hard time. Because again, women generally will multiply what you bring to them. Okay, You want to be stubborn and be stupid, they will multiply it for you. They are incubators. Okay. Uh, you you want peace of mind or lack thereof? Just bring the seed. She multiplies it for you. Okay. Are there bad women out here? Yes, they are. That still make me want to say, hey, how did you end up in that circle? Let's talk about that part. Doesn't mean anything. Just answer the question. <laughs> no, because I don't have any. But but I guess with me it's different because I'm not. Like you don't have so so name me somebody you are attracted to that's famous. I don't give a fuck who it is. I'm not in that space. Oh my. I'm not, I'm not, a, and so I guess that maybe, maybe we did need the other girls here because I'm not a person that's like, I'm not like, I just need a man. I don't even look not at saying Most girls are not going to end up with Drake. How did that conversation become about Drake or Usher or Whiskey or DeVito, right? How did that conversation end up in that space? That conversation wasn't about that. The conversation was about, hey, you think you're average? No, I'm not no average. I'm above average, my nigga. <laughs> right? <laughs> no, you must feel like you're less than average because that's over-inflated self of self. 
<laughs> it's a lame behavior to have this argument. Okay, gentlemen, slow down from this type of argument. It will become your real life. You will end up on a date. You will argue with the chick that you really like, make her feel less than, and then you'll be wondering why you got ghosted. Okay. I think the confident woman makes them aware of their self-worth issue. Yeah, there's a fine line between, I'm not sure what you mean by that, but there's a fine line between self-confidence and overinflated sense of self. You can't say overinflated sense of self un unless you're in a position where you can reference the results that they are creating. Uh, on a panel on YouTube, you're not in that position. They, they can tell you they're happy with their life, right? And, and you can't argue that. Even if you know, and you know that you know that is all cap, you still, you know, if you argue that, you will look stupid still, you know? You, you, you know, uh, if a person I don't know tells me, like, I feel like I'm above average, I interpret that as self-confidence because I don't have a problem with myself. When you have a problem with self, you feel the need to shoot down other people's sense of self-confidence. Even if there's the most butt-ugly girl in the world, I'm not about to start arguing with her on how ugly she is. That's stupid. Like, what, what, how do you have time for that, right? It doesn't make any sense. Oh, but we must tell this chick the truth. Like, you see? You see what you sound like? You sound stupid still. I can say that here. I'm not talking about anybody particularly, right? But, hey, if the shoe fits, I beg, wear and proper. All of you hit the nail on the head. Communication is very important. Yeah, it's just communication issues now. People just want to talk. As long as I'm talking the truth, I should create better results. No, you won't. That's unrealistic expectations of human beings. Human beings are not your robots and your computers and ones and zeros. It's not about truth. Truth is for computers and zeros, ones and zeros. Human beings have multiple versions of truth and they can change your lives to truth based on the experience, based on what's going on. There's so many variables. There's so many X factors. People are, people are like the girl with the ugliest person in the world. You're like, how did, how did he get with that ugly thing? Like... Because, again, there's multiple variables. That's stupid to get stuck in the argument of straight line arguments. It's stupid. And I'm using the word stupid so you can get it. Because sometimes if I'm too soft, you don't get it, right? I don't mean anyone is stupid, okay? No one is stupid. Everyone, as a matter of fact, as, as far as I'm concerned, as a matter of fact... Well, I, 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 I... You're right. The results will tell us if you're right or not, okay? The results will tell us. And that's a function of time, patience, process. No one can determine that in any stupid one company. I just used the word stupid again. <sighs> in any stupid one conversation on the internet, no one can tell us what's right and wrong, okay? They, no one can tell us, okay? If you cross the red light when you get out on the street, you will end up with a ticket, okay that's results okay you create the results even at that you go to the court you fight it sometimes and you still win so i beg all together let's just all stop the stop cap, the cap. <laughs> all right so let's finish this up like need that. Not no not not need even that. not even where it comes to like one i haven't seen anybody even like, growing up there's nobody you've been attracted to i mean it's people that are attractive but it's not anything that's like oh i just want him want him no i feel like my want to someone is the can best. i say something she's that type of chick what's the big deal this type of chick, if I want her, I'll get her. You just have to know what game to play. The game you play with every different girl is different. Right? It's the type of chick who feels very... A high, a healthy self-confidence. As a matter of fact, oftentimes, that's what I'm attracted to. But the kind of game you play with that type of chick, that type of chick is different from the games you play with somebody who feels... Who, who is not really like that. It's not the same thing as being pompous. It's not the same thing. Okay, the only thing I see in that is it's attractive. Most human beings are attracted to confidence. It's sexy. And we have a problem when men start to see confidence as not sexy, as, oh, she's just masculine. Like, how did you, you don't even know her like that? You should be getting to know her. She's confident. That's, that's an asset. If she's rude and blunt, that's different, right? Because she will be calling you out of your names by now already. This chick is polite based on the little five minutes I've seen so far. She is polite. But again, the same thing goes for me. I don't know her like that. Well, I'll find out. I'll find out at some point if she's rude, blunt, and just nasty, I will find out. And at that point in time, I'll hold it to myself to remove myself. Not walk around town on YouTube and TikTok and Clubhouse and tell the whole world that black women are just dangerous. Like, it's terrible. Anybody that says stuff like that is lame. 
Uh, Z, I'm not trying to frustrate you. I'm not uh, frustrated again, at let's... all. It's just to me what what I don't. Well, like. let me let me. I, let me... Don't... I know some people that will be frustrated and they give it to you. Trust me, this chick is not frustrated. But hey, let's keep going. I don't, I don't like really quick. Yeah, okay, but I just want to say this. What I don't like is I don't like a borderline bully. If someone chooses to have, yeah, and I don't want, I don't want to feel like okay. we teaming up on you yeah, or yeah, none but, of that. But what I, I'm I don't saying is, what I'm, like what I'm saying is, if someone but chooses, I, I do if, have someone, a question. if someone chooses to have high self esteem as opposed to low self esteem, that does not give you a right to call them names mm -hmm. and call them narcissistic or say, oh, Absolutely. overinflated because That's they true, choose but... to have high self esteem because you're used to your standard of being low self esteem. Anybody no. that that not so, so 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 let me just leave it at that right so we'll go into the next one i think we have a couple more oh my god we have a couple more this is a good day okay we'll try to wrap it up in time shout out to sar hill right but um yeah like it's um the question here is that so where where do we draw the lines she just talked about the topic was about self-esteem she she had to go through five minutes of argument with a bunch of grown men to realize that this was about self-esteem they started with that do you think you're an average what was the first question this was the first question do you believe you're an average woman do you believe you're an average woman that question would trigger people's self-esteem okay that question would trigger self-esteem for any normal human being nothing else now, if you ask this question and you want to have a quote unquote pragmatic, you know, um, whatever, you know, just be real with yourself. Don't have a no, like, come on, man. Like this is lack of emotional intelligence. Okay. That's what that is. That question will put her on the defense directly or indirectly. Wait, do I believe you use the word belief? I believe what I believe. It doesn't have to be freaking truth or, or false. I believe what I believe. It's the same thing as arguing people's faith with them. They believe what they believe. It's stupid. It's a stupid argument. Either you're the one argue for or against to have arguments around faith. It is stupid all the time. If somebody said, I don't believe there's God, it's stupid to argue with them. If somebody said, I believe in God, it's stupid to argue with them. So what's the question? This is when words matter within context, right? Context is something you have to read sometimes, right? Do you believe you're an average woman? Do you believe you're an average woman? Hell no! I don't want the chick I want to believe she's an average woman, even me. Well, all of that's kind of feminine. Well, guess what? Well, I, 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 you're right. Hola, why do... No, let's go to Sarhil. I think Sarhil says something first and I'll come to you. Her points are not completely logical but well articulated. Logical but well articulated. The men were not equipped for that conversation. That's absolutely on point. That's absolutely on point. Because their arguments were literally stupid all over the place. The, uh, yeah. I think I said it earlier. It's like, um, what's the word I'm looking for right now? The analogies were stupid. Like just, let's just start with that, you know. Because you could have this conversation. Sahil, we do all the time, right? You could have these conversations in a much more constructive way, but you will need a little bit of connection to real life examples. Uh, she would have, she would have given you some kind of ammunitions to work with. She didn't give them anything, and they went in on a stupid argument. It's just dumb. She's, she's on self-esteem. They were on something else entirely. And that's a lot of young men having that argument on the internet, and that's terrible. And we need to work, continue to work on that. Uh, Myra says, why do black women go on these misogynistic panels? <laughs> why do they entertain these basement dwelling clowns? Because they are attracted to toxicity themselves and they can't cap about that. Okay. If you engage in this conversation because something is lacking yourself and you're looking to prove something too. And that's what's going on. So, hey, there you have it. Uh, if you couldn't relate, and I've seen a lot of women who engage in this conversation, they couldn't relate. They're just kind of numb. Like, they just be like, that's your opinion. They couldn't help it. But I think she's handled herself well. Like Sir Hill says, she's well articulated. It's just, yeah, that conversation is completely off. We need a real connection because there are real life examples of women who are completely out of line, <laughs> right? But you can't be throwing accusations and assumptions all over the place when you're supposed to be the one to try to adjust that. You'll be defeated all the time in these conversations without, without the need to prove any facts, statistics, or data. I'm sorry. You just continue to go in circles. Let's go to this other conversation with uh, with Daddy Freeze and uh, 
and Georgina. This was an interesting one, and I would like to know everybody's opinion on this one in particular. So let's get into it.